Okay, the Huskers lose 21-17 to Northern Illinois. Sean, I'm going to just leave the mic here and let you do your thing. Offense. <laughs> you look at the offense, Andy, uh, you have to go with an F, obviously, for the performance on Saturday. Uh, Tanner Lee, two pick sixes. Uh, the protection up front was not there. The running offense struggled for the Huskers. I mean, really, everything that could have went wrong, especially early, did. Uh, Tanner Lee now leads the nation in interceptions. Defensively much better performance, especially early on. Yeah, I'm going to go B. Uh, the defense played well. I mean, they, they limited Northern Illinois really to just one big pass play on the day, and it was just kind of a first down chuck late in the game. It was a big play at the moment, but in general, this defense played well enough to to, to do their part of the bargain. It was Nebraska's offense that continued to put the defense in a lot of tough spots. The Husker defense holding the Huskies to 253 total yards. Special teams, kind of a mixed bag. Yeah, C-plus for me on special teams. Uh, Caleb Whiteborn had a great day, again, punting, uh, but a missed field goal by Drew Brown and points that, hey, we're at a premium. Uh, so that was a big missed field goal uh, at the time of that when Nebraska needed something. And then the, the early punt return miscues by DeMornay Pearsonell as far as uh, when to return it, when to field it, when to fair catch it. Um, that cost Nebraska a lot of valuable field position when this offense really couldn't afford to lose those yards in those moments. What about J.D. Spielman, good kick return? Yeah, he had one quality kick return out there, and, and that was really – and personnel bounced back. But uh, the early field position was big for me in my grading just because that's when this offense didn't need to be backed up on the two-yard line in, in some of those situations. The Huskers will try to improve those grades next week when Big Ten play begins. They host Rutgers.